Good morning, it's another beautiful, gorgeous day. Today is a Tzom Gadalia, the fast of Gadalia. After two days of beautiful spiritual uplift of Rosh Hashanah, plenty of food, all of a sudden we have a fast day. What is behind the Tzom Gedalia? Gedalia, after the first Beit HaMikdash was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar took over they stole everything, they robbed the Beit HaMikdash, they took all the most powerful people from Am Israel, who was left in Israel, and most of the people ran away, they got scared, there's nothing to do in Israel. The whole Israel was under the fire. So who was left in Israel? Simple, poor, regular farmers. So with Nuwal Hadnetzer, since he took over Eretz Israel, it's under his leadership, so he still be collecting taxes. So Nuwal Hadnetzer appointed Gedalia, as a leader, you're going to be your simple, nice, good, righteous, honest person. You're not going to rob me. You're not going to cheat me. You're going to be in charge. You're going to be the leader of the people that are left in Eretz Israel, but we have to pick up the economy of it. Farmers planting fruits, vegetables. So when other people that ran away from Eretz Israel, they heard that there's, there's a Jewish leader by the name of Gedalia, a big righteous tzaddik, is in Eretz Israel. He's then like a leader. Nasi of Am Israel, there's a lot of people started coming back. They were scared to come back to Israel. There's nothing there. So they started coming back little by little. The, the Jewish community was getting stronger and bigger and bigger. Now, there was a person by the name of Ishmael. Ishmael ben Netan, ben Netan, ben Netan Yahu. He was very jealous of Gedalia. He said, look at the Gedalia. Who is Gedalia? He's a simple man. Like He's the leader. Everybody respecting him. He's the running the economy now. He was appointed by Nebuchadnezzar. What about me? I'm smarter. I'm stronger. Ishmael thinking to himself. So Ishmael is planning to take over Gedalia's position. By how? By destroying him, by killing him. Gedalia had a nice small army also, like a protection to, to guard him. One of his main guys was named Jonathan. When Jonathan heard, somehow heard about that Ishmael wants to destroy him, he told to Gedalia. Gedalia said, listen, ah, we're Jewish people. I would another Jew want to kill me. I understand if other nations want to come to kill us, why would our own person want to kill me, take over my position? So Jonathan said, look, I'm your right-hand man. I'm telling you this is secret information came in. They didn't believe it. So the Jonathan even planned to go secretly, hiding to destroy Ishmael, Ben Netanyahu, in order to save Gedalia, but he didn't, Gedalia did not permit it because he didn't think, he would never believe that another Jew would do this. So one day on the Rosh Hashanah, Gedalia makes a big suda, big meal. Guess who came for the big meal? He invited Ishmael with his people. Ishmael came with 10 people, with 10 of his people. Right in the middle of the suda, Ishmael ben Netanyahu gets up with 10 of his people. They killed the Gedalia and all his people that were sitting there out of jealousy. So this is the greatest destruction that we have to, what has to do with us? Because we are keep on repeating the same mistakes. Sometimes we think somebody's, we see people better than us. We see people smarter than us. You see your manager is much, uh, you're doing much better than your manager or your boss. You want to take over. It becomes lost, lost case. So what happened? Okay, you killed Gedalia. You kill his followers. Then what happened next? Nebuchadnezzar finds out about it. Nebuchadnezzar was very disappointed. What? We destroyed you guys. Is okay, I understandable. We're a different culture, different nations. Your own people killed. I point to Gedalia and they destroyed Gedalia. So this was the greatest, another hurban because everybody started running away, chasing away the Eretzisal again, falling apart. The worst thing could happen when a Jew goes against another Jew. So what has to do with us? Let Ishmael and his descendants fast. Let them do tshuva. What has to do with us? With us, because we repeat the same mistake. We think, which a lot of times we're trying to prove our point. We're trying to show that we're smarter. We're trying to show we're better. We fight among each other. I'm, I could be a better rabbi. I could be better chazan. I could be better president of the shul. Or I could be better CEO of, CEO of, of the company. And what happens? Loss, loss case. Everybody loses. If Hashem appointed Gedalia, as a leader, must be he has that quality to be a leader. And that's why he didn't appoint you as a leader, because you might not have those qualities. Hashem has for everybody his own job, his own responsibility. So this is the great Hurban that we still today doing the tikkun and remembering the Gedalia, the innocent man, was killed for no reason. Out of what? Out of jealousy.
the, in the Ten Commandments, the Tenth Commandment, the Tenth One, is don't be jealous. Jealousy is the sin that has no actions involved. Like any avera you want to do, either your hands or legs are involved. You can't do avera without hands or legs involved. It's impossible. The only avera you could do without a legs and hands involved is the jealousy. All the destruction comes out of jealousy. People steal because they're jealous. People lie out of jealousy. People fight because out of jealousy. People insult each other because of jealousy. That's the worst. That's the, the biggest enemy of us. Of our biggest enemy is jealousy. Praise God Hashem. We should all have easy and meaningful fast and not repeat the same mistake.